Okay, I just went live on my Twitch stream, so welcome everybody. Um, I guess we're about to turn into chickens and start running towards Everswim now. And since we have a uh, guard tonight, then we can uh, do the overland route, which is that much more adventurous. And we'll see how it goes. Okay. It's tricky doing this with one hand. I've got one hand scratching the foster pupper. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, I got my stream started. Chicken time. Yep, it's chicken time, so we can all turn into chickens now and start heading out. Yay, I'm a chicken now. Yep, mine's loading. And because I'm a free-range chicken, because I've done this one before, I'm over in the driveway. I've got a head start. I'll just wait till you all turn into chicken. We'll find you. You'll you'll find me. I know you'll find me. It's cool. So we can run over towards uh, Hobbiton. Head up to Overhill, across to Brock and Borings, and up into um, Oat Barton, and take that route to get up to uh, Tinnadier before we start swimming. Alrighty then. Okay, I've started running. There we go. So yesterday there was a special chicken run on Land Ravel. And Crispy went over to Land Ravel and did that one. And it was pretty cool because they have this thing called Month of the Chicken on Land Ravel server, which is the month of August, and it's all chicken runs all the time. And oh, funny. <laughs> and last, uh, cool. yes, yesterday was Minas Tirith. So Crispy went over there and did Minas Tirith on Landravel server. That was pretty fun. It was good, good chit chats we had, and I learned a thing or two. Um, I learned how to do a shortcut to follow, so you can toggle follow because when you're following, it's easy for the follow to get dropped if you go through a portal, which we did in you know uh, when we crossed out of the Shire and whatnot. So I learned a shortcut how to set up a shortcut for following as a chicken. So we had chickens that were following one another and the chickens, um, <laughs> when they follow, if they're all following the same person, then <laughs> if they're all following the same person, they look like they're all conjoined twins. They just sort of glom into one lump. It's really kind of interesting looking. I like your golf. Well, the bowling chickens there, that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, it's like like chickens lay eggs and chicken chasers lay That's chickens. Funny. That's amazing. How do you do that? Yeah, I was going to say, how do you do that? It's adorable. 
That I love is so much. the uh, chicken put emote from Hobnanigans. Wow. There's also the uh, chip and drive. <laughs> Very cool. I didn't know you would just be dropping chickens all along the road by clicking that. That is so cool. Very cool. <laughs> I love the feathers flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. Are we are we going the right way? Did I go did I overshoot Hobbiton? Wait a second. Uh, yeah, Wait a just second. A, just a small amount. We overshot Hobbiton. Okay, and I've got this dog dropping a ball. I've got my hand on the on the uh keyboard and the dog is like dropping a soggy wet ball right by my hand here. So I have to like throw the ball now. Excuse me. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Off it goes. Let the puppy run across. So yeah, I'm playing two games at once here. <laughs> I'm playing fetch with Foster Pupper and uh, and doing a chicken run at the same time. And I, I kind of suck at multitasking, so there is that. This is going to be fun. <laughs> he drops the ball on me and then it falls on the floor and he picks it up and puts it back on my lap. It's weird. He's weird that way. Okay, so if I run off the road into a wall or something, you'll know that's, it's because that's of... Chicken. That's funny. <laughs> chicken drive, or drive. That is, it looks so cool. Very cool. Pause here and wait for people to catch up. It's all good. Alrighty then, and away we go. What else did I learn? Oh, I learned something cool. At the end of the Minas Tirith chicken run, we'd been talking about, you know, the when you do the roof jumping in Bree and you can get into the secret courtyards that way. There was one that um that uh, I learned how to get into. Crispy learned how to get into this uh, other secret courtyard that we didn't get to by the roof jumping trick on the scholar stair. So that was a good thing I learned. That was cool. And it's it's one that it's not it's not some secret. It's one that lots of people have known about for many years. So so I I can share it. It'll be cool. So there's two hobbits over here. If you come and pay attention to their dialogue, it's a marriage proposal. Oh, I love these. These are so cool. I would like to see them. Let, let's go visit. He's working his way up to it. Oh, there he goes on bended knee. Ah, isn't that sweet? Yay! Yay! I'm pleased to have witnessed that. <laughs> Congratulations to the little hobbits. And there they go, running off to tell somebody. That's so cool. Thank you for pointing that out, Martha. I think we're missing... I like your hat, too, by the way, Martha. Thank you. <laughs> We've got four of us, right? Four chickens? I thought there were four doing the quest. Yeah, well... Let's... I accidentally got lost. Here you are. Turn around right here. Here we are. Oh, there you are. Yes. Four chickens plus plus me. I feel bad now. I should have done a head count when we started. 
Okay. Are we ready? We're good. I was so enraptured by that proposal that I couldn't figure out where I was anymore. <laughs> so romantic. There we go. There we go. So yeah, we did the um, the Land Rovel Minas Tirith chicken run. We did the Swan Fleet route, but the way that they took a detour was to go around Tharbad. Is that the one that's right on the border between Cardalon and Swanfleet? They went around that to the left instead of going right through it. That's all cool. Why am I, why am I falling behind? Are we uh, doing foul fleetness or what? Okay. Here we come. Here we come. Okay. All right. We're all here. Let's ready, steady, go. Yeah. So some of the people that were on that chicken run yesterday were talking about how in the old days, like people who played much, much longer than me, were talking about how in the early days, you'd go on a chicken run, and when you were trying to go across, like, the troll shaws, like, you would be drawing aggro from everything. So all the critters in the area, they wouldn't ignore you the way they ignore chickens now, right? So chickens are low enough that uh, somehow we don't draw aggro from things that are far away, but it used to be, like, a deer would see you and come charging at you from wherever, And it sounds like it, chicken runs, it sounds like they used to be much more challenging and difficult back in the day. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Oh, good. Okay. I sank into that wall there. Yikes. That's weird. <laughs> Interesting! A gap in the wall that you can run through. Interestingly enough, that is the, the way to get into one of the secret courtyards in Bree, is to run through the hedge wall that goes around the, the city. So I learned where that spot is just yesterday. So if anyone's interested, I can uh, we could take a detour and after we're done the chicken run, we could head debris and I could show people where that little secret hole in the wall is. I would like to learn. I'm always curious to learn the little niches, like the proposal. That's pretty cool. Are we ready to start running again? I am. 
Okie dokie. Ready, steady, go. Let's see if we can make it this time without losing a single chicken on the way. Because last time we did this run with a flock, we we tragically lost a chicken on the barren dolph up where the, we get near where all those sand dunes are. We don't want that to happen again. Let's keep the whole flock alive this time. Because last time we had more escorts, so somebody could go back and help the uh, our fallen comrade try and catch up. <laughs> Look at the flying chickens! Oh, this reminds me of that glitch that we had when we did the Minas Tirith run, when we had the the swimming in the air glitch. Okay, it's time to start keeping an eye out for the red dots on the mini-map. I love it when they disappear like that. When the red dots on the mini-map vanish. That's what I like to see. So on the 26th of August, that's when we're going to do another Saturday big chicken run. And that one's going to be heading for the Lonely Mountain. That'll be a run. Woo. That'll be fun. I think it's about the same length as the Minas Tirith run is now. It used to be shorter than Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith used to take longer before Swanfleet. Now there's a Swanfleet shortcut to Minas Tirith. It, so it only takes about, you know, like two and a half hours. Martha's doing a wonderful job of clearing the path, mowing the lawn. Thank you, Martha. Yes, thank you very much. We love to tell our escorts we love them. You are appreciated. Very much. Plus, you're providing some entertainment. <laughs> yes, for sure. An excellent tour guide in addition to being a great protector. This is a very versatile uh, hobbit. I love this part of the map. I love sand dunes. It reminds me of a place where I used to go on holiday when I was a kid. The Sandbanks in Ontario, which has lovely sand dunes. I haven't been on this part of the map before. It's different from everywhere else. I love the sand dunes. So cool. Here we go. <laughs> Martha's like clearing the path way ahead there. It's all good.
I love that musical sound I'm hearing when all the red spots disappear. That's kind of cool. So that ding is from the sleigh bell item, which you get from the year 12 gift. So it's going to be a while before I get it. I've only been playing like two years. I think I've got the year three gift box. <laughs> so it'll be quite a few anniversaries before I get that item. Getting some lag. It's keeping me from shooting stuff. Yeah. We can pause and let people catch up. There we go. So I've been doing a, a crispy solo version of some of these same Flying Me Coop runs just to demonstrate doing it solo. And um, But I do it on Evernight because Crispy's already done all these runs on this server, of course. So when I do the, the solo run for this... Oh, there's some lag, I think. Yeah, that's real bad. <laughs> yeah. Freeze frame right there. Yeah. For sure. Just wait till everyone catches up. Um, when Crispy does this run solo, he does the, the long swim. He runs all the way to the Brandywine Bridge, and then he starts swimming from there and just avoids all the mobs. Eventually, one day... It fired the arrow. <laughs> now we're still waiting. Wow. For that purple thing to drop. Yeah, now we'll stop and watch it slowly die. Oh, I saw a... Uh... His knees are buckling. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> a slow and painful death. The poor thing. I feel bad for it. <laughs> Gee, what, what do you want to bet that the... Uh, the alert is reduced awareness, you think? I wonder. It's hilarious that when you get that notification, when you hear the little bell ring, it's like, yeah, I think I know what that one's going to say. I don't think it's male. So one thing that I learned... When you do use the follow thing, which I'm not actually doing, if you guys want, you can use the follow command and follow me or whatever. Or if uh, one thing I was using the follow command and following someone else yesterday because this uh, foster puppy I was dealing with was just being quite demanding for attention. Poor thing has anxiety issues. It's on like two kinds of anxiety medication and whatnot. And, uh, doesn't like being left alone and whatnot. Likes to follow me if I go to the bathroom. So, you know, that sort of thing. Very needy pup. And uh, so I was using follow. And at one point, I, I was standing in front of the person I was following when I hit the follow command. And that was a mistake. Because when we got to Minas Tirith, like, at points, you'd catch up to the person and you'd end up in front of the person that you were trying to follow. If you were standing in front of them when you hit the follow. Okay, no, shall we start swimming? Swim from here, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Splish splash. Yay, if you let's, go let's be up ducks. On the shore on either side, there can be uh, stealth enemies. Ooh, nasty. We don't like that. Thank you for that handy tip that we will pass along as other people watch this video to see how to do this chicken run. We'll be posting these on YouTube for future reference for future chickens to enjoy and learn from. Is anyone else drowning? It, it, I look it's like, like you're going over my head. Yeah. <laughs> look like it. yeah, but there's a lot of air in that white water so I can still breathe apparently because otherwise I wouldn't still be swimming, right? That's my logic. I just realized when we were crossing the river in uh, between Cardolan and Swanfleet yesterday, 
I never noticed before, but you can do the backstroke when you're swimming. Oh, I'm stuck on Oh, something. yeah. I didn't realize that until I saw someone saw the animation. Why am I stuck here? Is this more lag? More lag. Dang, I feel like I'm drowning here now. <laughs> stuck under the white water. It's like I'm getting may tagged in the white water here. Uh oh, now I'm doing. F <laughs> I'm flying! Oh, there, I dropped again. I was up in the air hovering like a helicopter for a little while. Yay, I'm free! Oh, well, I'm out of the white water anyway. And we lag. So we're practicing treading water. That's what's happening. That's all that's happening. It's not lag. We're just practicing treading water now and then. Because it's good practice, right? That's my story. And you're sticking to it. Exactly. Ah, there we go. Now we have a lovely swim. Now we can pop over onto the island at Tinadir there and run along that way if we like. Or we could just swim around the edges. Either way. Lovely scenery here. I'm trying to move my camera around. I was trying to do that through Swanfleet the other day. There's this one area where it's really pretty flowers. I'm trying to be the Peter Jackson of poultry here, doing cinematography with my camera while streaming. <laughs> I'm not going to win any Academy Awards, I'm pretty sure. There, I like to get all the chickens in the shot now and then for future, uh, you know what I should try? Turning off the, um, turning off the, uh, all the UI stuff, so it's just plain for screenshots. So, you could get a screen grab later. Maybe, turn that back on and go to my options. I like to make it so my name shows up like everybody else's name so we can see who's who, right? There we go. Turned on my character's name. When I turn off turn off the UI, I can still see everybody's names. Sandwich is a great name for your chicken, Martha, I must say. I love CPET rename. It's one of my favorite commands. I uh, usually give my chickens food-related names. Mine is just Crispy Junior. I'm pretty sure that's the name of a meal in, in a number of fast food restaurants. <laughs> So the crispy chickens, the crispy hobbits that have rolled on other servers, I try and level them up to 15 so I can give them the chicken's surname. So they can be crispy chicken even when they're not chickens, right? Gave them all a bio and everything. So chicken is a, a family name. Or a family of hobbits that has raised poultry for untold generations. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. The water's so pretty here. But it's pretty hazy over that way. Kind of hard to see where you're going, eh? Better. 
turn on the UI so I can see my map again. And off we go across the lake. This is the easy part. So relaxing. Better than a sailboat. For sure. I should turn up my audio. A little bit of music wouldn't be bad here. Getting some good practice with the chicken breast stroke. Aha. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I think it's raining, actually. I usually have my precipitation effects turned off, but I'm hearing kind of rain and thundery noises now that I've turned up my background noises. Oh, here comes my pretty music. So you can, if you're falling behind in the water, you can catch up by jumping as you swim. Turned off the names, in case anyone wants to get screenshots with just chickens. So when Crispy is accompanying other chickens on these chicken runs, the, the fun part for Crispy is after all the chickens who are doing the actual quest click to finish the quest and get transported magically back to Sanson's farm, Crispy can't do that because he's not on the same quest. He's doing free range. So what Crispy has to do is go find a scary monster to get devoured by. The and that's, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Crispy gets to end his quest the hard way over and over again <laughs> in order to participate in uh, Flying the Coop Chicken Runs on the server. But that's okay. It's all good fun. Last time it was a crabbin in the Lone Lands. And when we did the North Downs, it was one of those great oryx. Maybe the daddy of the young oryx that we had to talk to to end the quest. 
Well, I hope they appreciate the meal they're getting. I hope so, too. I'm sure Crispy is absolutely delicious. scary monster coming down to the lake. I'll just keep swimming right past that guy. I'm not getting anywhere near the shore. Well, actually, I might as well go get, you know, done in there, but I'll wait till all the chickens are safely home again before I do. I thought that was a villager or something, and I was going straight for it. I <laughs> know, that would be the Garadain, and they will, like, devour you if they get the chance. Alrighty then, you're almost there. Yay. Martha has done a marvelous job keeping us safe all the way here. Yes. Thank you so much. You are Thank awesome. You, You're all welcome. Are we all here yet? Shall we get a nice little group picture of all the chickens? can all flap and greet bonkings here. Bonkings of the Fallow Hides. That's a great name. I like that. Well, that was a wonderful chicken run. Thank you, everybody, for participating. And we'll be back next week to do another one of our Flying the Coop chicken runs. Yep. Thank you very much. It was fun. Yep, for sure. Alrighty then. Okay, well, you guys can all head back to Sanson's farm. I am going to go find my own way back. <laughs> As you do. The best you know. of luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. This should be fun. And if anyone's interested in going to see if we can find that hole in the wall in Bree. Yep, waiting for you. Yeah. So Martha's done such a great job slaying all the mobs here. I think I'll have to run up the hill to find one. I'm sure I won't have to go too far. Ooh, I found a wild shadow fang. Oh, I'm not feeling very well now. <laughs> Everything's gone gray. <laughs> So I'll be back at the Shire in no Poor time. Poor Crispy. Poor Crispy, yes. Well, gotta travel somehow. I'm, I'm taking the Wild Shadow Fang Express today. And I'll be there shortly. And, you know, he's just standing there. After I get defeated and my corpse is laying on the ground, he just turns away and ignores me. That's just... That's just insulting the way Shadowfang turned away and ignored me after my I fell and was 
just laying there on the ground. Okay, I'm traveling now. I'll be there soon. Yay, I'm back. Okay, so who got a shiny new cloak of the cluck here? Not yet. <laughs> How many do you have to do to get that? The cloak of the cluck? Um, well, there's the six flying the coop quests. Once you finish all the flying the coop quests, then you will have the cloak of the cluck. I've got two more to do. I've also got two left. Cool. Which ones do you have to do still? I have Arid Luin and Trollshaws. Okay. And, uh... Ella, what do you have left? Uh, Arid Luin and then I have Bree. Oh, okay. So, different. so should we try Arid Luin next Monday? Yep. Okay, sounds like a plan. And Bree is not really hard to do solo. Yeah, yeah so it I was just thinking, I bet I could do that myself. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And we could maybe do, so Arid Loon next week, maybe Troll Shaws the week yep. after. Sounds scare, great. Scare up some escorts for that one if we can. That'll be better. Anyway, so I think we need some. Fireworks to celebrate. Yay! Another successful chicken run. Thank you to everyone for uh, joining us for this uh, little adventure. That just cracks me up, Martha. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I really do. It's like a merry-go-round of flying chickens. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. So are we going to go to Bree now and, uh, yes. and go see that? Okay, so... Yes. Um, how to get there that is the question i have a travel skill and so should we get into a fellowship and i can guide everyone there there we go so we can all join into oh so is drumstick starting the whole yeah i'm inviting inviting all everybody in. awesome Very good. And I'm going to invite Martha just for the fun of it if they want to come along. Awesome. There we go. All right, lead the way, Miss Crispy Chicken. Okay, let's. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is that the return debris? Is that the. Will return debris work? We'll see. Did it, will that work as will that work as well as guide? I'm wondering now. No, you got to do guide, no. but oh, I can no. take them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, there, there are two separate kinds of travel with Bree. My bad. Yeah, so it was return. Thank you, Martha. Instead of guide. Sorry about that. Okay then. Yay, the gang's all here. Alrighty then. I love that piggy wagon too. That's cute. <laughs> I think there's a band at the Boar Fountain. If we were if we were on one of the quests that was going through Bree, we could have stopped by to flap at the people there. But if we were chickens and we visited the bands at the Boar Fountain, we would not be able to hear the music, which would be a tragedy. No! It's yeah, true. it's frustrating that the chickens can't hear player music. Very sad, because I took Crispy Chicken to Weatherstock, and all he could do is like just run around and jump around and flap and pretend he was dancing, you know, when he couldn't hear the music and had no rhythm. <laughs> Hey, we have musicians here. There we go. Hey, 
Should we pause and listen to some music? Or shall we come back after? Well, let's go ahead because I've got another game I need to move on to if you don't mind. Okay, let's go out this gate and find that wall, hole in the wall. I don't know if the secret courtyard we get into is the one that I was trying to get into before because I never could find that pretty fountain that you could see going up the one way. Ah, you see, yeah, it's the other direction. It's down this way. It's, um, yeah, it's the opposite direction from the secret courtyard I was trying to find before. So there's one big secret courtyard I never could find my way into. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. And, uh, just run through the hole in the wall. Follow me through. Oh, and nifty. <laughs> and that's how you get into one of the secret courtyards in Bree. One of the many secret courtyards in Bree. Are we all through? Oh my now God. that's fun. All right. You see where I'm going in here? Yay. I think we're almost all in. One more. There you are. Okay, we're all in the secret courtyard. So cool in here. You got stairs to nowhere. Stairs that go up where there's no door. It's just kind of weird. And some invisible walls. In some places you're trying to go along a path and you'll just hit a wall and not be able to go any further. Now, that little secret... I've been in that little secret, secret courtyard I'm overlooking there. I've been able to get in there from a roof from the other side. but uh, And I was trying to get up into this part, but I couldn't. But it's cool that there's another way in. Uh-oh, did I get myself stuck? I might have got myself stuck here. <laughs> Yes, I fell down a hill. Oops. So don't follow me down the hill because now I am stuck. I was trying to get at a path there and uh, now I can't go forward. That's weird. Okay. Okay, so I'll go back to the gate. Or no, 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 wrong one. Wrong one. There's a cooldown on that. I'll use my secret travel skills to get back in. See, I've got my um, my house that I go to is location, location, location. Three Ridge Road in Eastfold. How can I be of service? And Three Ridge Road has the stable master right at the end of the driveway. So I just turn around, and the stable master is right there. So now I'm already back at the west gate of Bree. And galloping through there. No, actually, I'm at the south gate of Bree. We saddle up and uh, get back to where you guys are. I wonder if I ever intended to do anything with these courtyards, or if they're just leftovers. Well, I put a, a hint, a question in the uh, forums. It would be cool if they could develop future quest packs that would uh, open up some of those secret courtyards. That would be cool. So, uh, let's go in there. I thought I saw someone else just run in here. Okay, here I am. I'm in the secret courtyard. Yay! Well, that was fun. How do I need to get to a raid? They're kind of waiting for me to get over there on a different server. Okay. Thanks again, Crispy, and everyone else. That was great fun. Thank you. Have a great night. Happy raiding. Okay. Yep. Okay then, well, there we are. So I'll probably end the stream now. <laughs> Somebody's got some oh, weird lag there. <laughs> and galloping and going nowhere. That's so cool. There we go. Okay, thank you everybody for, for joining us on this little adventure. And we'll see you next Monday for another Flying the Coop Chicken Run. And on August 26th, 
We'll be doing the Lonely Mountain Chicken Run on Saturday starting at 2 p.m. The Monday Night Chicken Run start at 8 p.m. server time, which is Eastern time. And uh, the Saturday Chicken Run on the 26th will be 2 p.m. And just so you know, okay, and everybody's welcome. And uh, it'll be fun. So see you later. And uh, bye to everybody on the stream. <laughs>